Would you really want to do that? Live 14,000 years. What if a man from the Upper Paleolithic survived until the present day? The truth is so, so simple. If you lived a hundred, a thousand years, would you still have this? What would cause you to keep it? As a memento to your beginnings, even if you didn't have the concept of beginnings? And if you went back there today, would it be the same? No. I'm sure it's all different and built up. That's the saying, you can't go home again because it isn't there anymore. Picture it on my scale. I migrated through an endless flat space full of endless new things. Do you have faith in the future of the race? It's been said that Buddha and Jesus would laugh or cry if they known what was done in their name. And if there is a creator, you probably feel the same way. One dissident against Rome? Rome won. The rest is history. Well, sort of. A lot of fairy tales mixed in. Guy met the Buddha. Liked what he heard. Thought about it for a while. Say 500 years while he returned to the Mediterranean. Became an Etruscan. Seeped into the Roman Empire. He didn't like what they became. A giant killing machine. He went to the Near East thinking, why not pass the Buddhist teachings on in a modern form? So he tried. Let me see your wrists. I don't scar. Besides, they tied me, but nails and blood make better religious art. But as tales of the resurrection spread, the name was confused with the Hebrew Yohanan, meaning God is gracious. My stay on earth was seen as divine proof of immortality. That led to God is salvation, or Hebrew Yeshua, which in translation became my proper name, changing to late Greek, Jesus, then to late Latin, Jesus, finally medieval Latin, Jesus. And it was a wonder to watch it all happen. You got four men of science completely baffled, my friend. We, we don't know what to make of you. Biblical Jesus said, who do you think I am? He gave them a choice. I'm giving you one. So did uh, Beethoven do physics on the side? He spent most of his time lying on the floor in front of his legless piano, surrounded by orange peels and apple cores. <laughs> now we are on the floor listening to Beethoven. Full circle. Were you? If I said no, could you ever be sure? <laughs>